Hey everybody, it's Pastor Wildy. Today I want to talk to you about the time I went to jail. And before you get too excited, no, I didn't have to stay there. When I was studying to be a pastor at the seminary, one of the programs I was involved with was a chaplaincy team for one of the local jails uh, near Mequon, Wisconsin, where the seminary is. That meant every couple of months I went and I did a chapel service, a little church service there in the jail. And it was usually pretty scary for me, actually, I have to admit. Um, because you go to this big building and, and oftentimes it was in the dark part of the year, so it was dark out already. You go to the big scary looking jail building and you have to give them everything in your pockets before you go in. So you give them your driver's license, you give them your keys, you give them your wallet. And they go through your Bible to make sure you don't have anything in there. You get to take your Bible and that's about it. Maybe some little service folders if you printed out a bulletin for the, the inmates to follow along with. And then you go in through one set of doors. And that big iron door closes behind you. And then you go in through another set of doors. And you're in jail. And even though you didn't do anything to deserve to be in jail, you can't get out. It's impossible to get out except with the help of the guards. And that's where my mind would always go a little bit crazy. I'd wonder, well, what if, what if they forget about me in here? What if they forget who I am or lose my ID and, and they think I belong in here with all the inmates and I have to stay in here? Even though I knew I could get out, it was scary to be in jail. I felt trapped and helpless. Sometimes life can feel a little bit like jail for us. Sometimes things that are so bad or, or so evil or so sad can happen in our life that we feel trapped. We feel like this isn't the life we want and we, we can't escape that. As some of you might know, my, my mother-in-law died last weekend. And for my family, that's a very hard thing. It's one of those things that we wish would never have happened and, and we almost feel a little bit trapped by life. We feel trapped like we can't escape this, this waking nightmare that, that our mom is gone. And it's so painful. Maybe there's something like that in your life. And unfortunately, there might be more to come in your life and mine too, where we feel like this is so evil, so horrible, so awful, and we're trapped. We can't do anything about it. We can't escape it. And there's a kind of trap or jail that's even worse than that, really. The Bible says that we're born dead in our sins. We're trapped. We're, we're imprisoned by the devil. We're his slaves. We're his we're his prisoners, we're his captives, we can't escape. And to people who feel trapped by the devil and their sinfulness, who feel trapped by the evils and sorrows of the world, this is what God had to say. Through the prophet Isaiah, in Isaiah chapter 61, Isaiah says, The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has appointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. This is God's word. You're not trapped. I'm not trapped. Because Jesus came. That's what Isaiah was talking about. He was talking about how Jesus would come to give us freedom. Freedom from the most important thing. Freedom from the guilt of our sinfulness. And freedom from so much more than that too. It gives us freedom from death. It gives us freedom from sorrow. What a wonderful promise. What a wonderful thing to, to be able to look at when we feel trapped. We're not trapped. We can get out. But not by our own strength. Because God gives us freedom. He unlocks the door of every prison for us. He gives us the promise of eternal life. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, when sad things and evil things happen in our lives, we feel trapped. When we look at our own sinfulness and realize how we deserve your punishment, we feel trapped by our guilt. Thank you for sending your Son to set us free. Thank you for the promise of eternal freedom and joy and, and peace in your kingdom of heaven. We pray this confidently in our Savior's name. Amen.